Hey everyone, James with Rococo here, back with another tutorial. This time I want to show you how to set up our virtual production starter kit. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is install the Null driver, which will allow us to use Steam VR without a headset. And to do this, click on the virtual production button, then click on the cogwheel icon, and then toggle on Null driver. This will allow us to override the need of a headset. Now go ahead and set up your base stations. We recommend that you set up four of them for best performance. Once they're placed a few feet away and facing towards each other, plug them in to power them on. To connect the Vive trackers to our PC, we need to use the dongle for the trackers. Plug in the dongle to a USB port on your PC so that the trackers can be connected. Once the dongle is connected, press the button on the trackers to turn them on and connect them to the PC. In order to have a tracker on a suit, you need to put a tracker on a mount and slide the mount into the suit's back pocket. Once your base stations are set up properly, open Steam VR and perform a room setup. There are two types of setups that you can do. You'll want to select standing only. After clicking that, click next and then calibrate center. The next screen has you input the vertical height of your headset. Being that we're not using a headset, this isn't necessary. However, it is required. So we put the height of our mocap actor in centimeters instead. Once this is done, click next and the room setup is complete and make sure to close out of Steam VR when you are done. Now that the base stations and trackers are set up, you can go back to studio and start the virtual production. To enable the virtual production, click the virtual production icon at the top right of the window, then click start Steam VR button. It will take a few seconds for the data from the trackers and base stations to show up inside of studio. Once everything has been loaded in, you can now pair the trackers to the suit and various props. You'll also want to define the ground so that the trackers are positioned properly from the ground. To do this, place one tracker on the ground and then press the define ground button inside of studio. Once the ground has been defined, you can start adding props to your scene and assign trackers to them so that your mocap actor can interact with them. You can toggle the visibility of the props by clicking the checkbox next to each prop. You can also now record your motions in studio by pressing the record button. Once your motions have been recorded, you can open the take by double clicking it. If you notice any potential issues like foot sliding, you can use the filters within studio to clean up the animation. And when it's ready to be exported, press the export button and the export options box will open. To export all of the virtual production data, make sure that the export VP data is checked so that you will also export all of the data from the trackers. After selecting a format and skeleton type, you can click export and you're done. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching guys.